My name is Miss Onisha, and I'm from the Cleveland Park Boys and Girls Club of Middle Tennessee, and today we're going to be painting. So here are some items that you need. A canvas. If you don't have a canvas, you can use a piece of paper that's lying around your house. But if you would like a canvas, ask your parent or guardian if they could go by your local Walmart and get you some. They're about 99 cents to $1.25, and they range in the small sizes. They're very big ones as well. So you need your canvas or some white paper. Paint. You can find paint at your local Walmart, too. You can get one of these little uh, paint things that comes with the kit and has all the colors with the small paintbrush or you can get you th these type of paints and so paint comes in bottles it comes in squeezables it comes in anything but just get you some paint you want to do a lot you need a pencil a lot of people like to free paint i don't i can't paint really well because i'm not that artistic but it's a little bit easier for me if i have a pencil so i can draw it out and then get you some paint brushes and also some water to hydrate yourself and also a cup of water to dip your paintbrushes in. So let's get started. Okay, like I said, before I like to get started painting, I want to draw it out. So I'm thinking that I might do a flower. So let's get on our flower. So, but my flowers, I always start in the middle and I do my nice little circle. See? Got my circle. Now I'm going to do my petals and stuff. And so you don't have to do a flower. I just love doing flowers. They're very easy to draw for me. Because, you know, most people draw flowers when they're kids. So I've been drawing flowers since I was a kid. And I always do four petal flowers, you know. Make it real cute. Your stem. petals and here's my flower so I have my circle my petals my stem and my leaves and now it's time for the fun part let's get to painting guys all right so it's time to pick our brush so since I drew this flower I think I'm gonna get me I'm going to start with a flatter brush. And so like I said, some of the paint kits come with brushes already, like mine. This little paint kit I got from Walmart right here is about $2. It came with this small paint brush. But it's not going to be enough for me to, you know, get up in my circles. So I'm going to use this brush. And so, um, you know... Like I said, I'm not the most artistic person, but it's not about being the most artistic person. It's about just allowing yourself to relax and create and have a good time. You know, most people do these little things called paint nights where people just come together and just have a good time painting for one another. So that's what I'm doing. That way, when... At the end, if it doesn't look that good, everybody can be like, well, she wasn't trying to be an artist. She was just painting. <laughs> I have my circle. And so now, take the time and start painting your picture. You know, you can do a castle, you can do a flower. You can do a monster, if you like monsters, you can do a beautiful paper with hearts on it. You can do a more abstract type of art where um, you're just drawing whatever comes to your mind. You know, some people just like splatter the canvases up and the paper up. And just allow themselves to create from the top of their head. I can't do that, so I'll draw me something else. Well, you never say you can't do something. I just would rather not do that. Really fun. And voila! 
There is my flower. And so, isn't she cute? Now it's time for a background. I think I'm going to do a nice sunny day, beautiful blue sky, some clouds, maybe a bird or two if I'm feeling artistic. I'm running out of paintbrushes, y'all. Hmm. I'm trying to decide. Dark blue or light blue? Let's see. Any, mini, miny, mo, catch a color by the toe. If you holler, let them go. My mommy told me to pick this one, and you are not it. Dark blue it is. Hmm. I really love color in the sky. The sky is such a beautiful, pretty thing. No. The sky represents so much. It represents challenges. It represents freedom. A lot of people think blue as blue as a sad color. But I think it's just a color of feeling. It allows you to open up. This is just so beautiful. And I think that's what the point of art is. Expressing expressing things from your own point of view. Because to me, my cute little pink flower could mean beauty. It could mean happiness to somebody else. My flower could be danger. Because if it's bright colors. Now in nature, sometimes when things have colors like this, they're poisonous. You know, like poisonous fruits and stuff have red and pinkish colors. And so, you know, art is just all about expression. And there's no wrong way to express yourself. As long as you're having a good time. And we are done. Be very careful when you finish because it needs to dry. Um, ask a parent or guardian where they would like for you to sit it best. My advice is to sit it outside. Um, if you have a balcony, sit it on your balcony. If you have a porch, lay it on like a piece of newspaper and sit it outside or even sit it in front of a window. But definitely let it take its time to dry because you see I'm not letting mine dry before I set it up and you see it's soaking. So definitely let your stuff dry. Okay, so I've waited about an hour, and this is the end result of my picture. It still has a little bit more drying to do, so I would say don't pick up your picture while it's still wet. But I just wanted to show you guys what I ended up with. I have my beautiful flower. It has a bit of orange and red in it now because my paint started to spill. I have my beautiful sky, my sun. And I think the thing I like the most about my picture is because I made it myself. Um, I don't think that I'm the best artist, but I tried my best. And I got a very nice picture out of it, and I'm going to give it to my mommy. And so, yeah, love what you create. Yay, we're done. Um, I had a very great time today showing you guys my art. I hope you enjoyed my picture. I hope you're at home working very hard on yours as well. Um, make sure you're practicing social distancing. Wash them hands. Use your hand sanitizer and be safe. I had a great time with you guys today. See you soon.